the wh- when you what you mentioned about bravery, this how you were talking with um, Sam Harris mm-hmm. about it, where bravery is only present if you are scared of something. Because if you're not scared of it, you're not being brave to overcome True. anything or to to go, you know, to do any kind of activity that's, um, you know, that that you're scared of. So the very Although I don't know if I necessarily agree with that because there's guys that are, you know, he says he's never seen anyone that's not, not afraid. I've seen some pretty, I mean, it's almost the word to use. It's like crazy guys that are just so brave and you look at them and they, you, they, you go, this guy's gonna, this guy, I had guys with me, you know, in my task unit and some of those guys were so brave that i didn't think they were gonna make it home and is is it because they were like um it's like they they weren't scared to die at all like it didn't yeah Yeah. and and you see the almost a lack of self-preservation right you know not not stupid not not suicidal but like, oh, this guy doesn't think he can be killed. Right. You know, we were talking about that on the last podcast. I, and I forget the name of the major that was on the beach landing at Tarawa, I think. And he's up and he's like, hey, look, they can't hit me. Come on. Yeah. I, I've seen guys do that. Yeah. So as far as actual bravery goes, though, so would you consider that, um, like, let's say, okay, two guys are going to go go do some, let's say, an MMA fight, right? Mm-hmm. And one guy's just really scared mm-hmm. of competing in front of people. It's his first fight or something like that. Then you have this other guy who, who's not, who just feels different. Same exact situation, but he's like fired up. He's not scared at all. And they both go into it. Do th- did they both exercise the same bravery? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, it, it, and I don't know if it matters. Um, yeah. For one thing I can tell you, the guy that's acting – like he's not scared is probably the one that's more scared. Yeah, <laughs> with MMA fights, sure, right. and it's and I actually see that in combat too. Guys that are overly like bravado mm-hmm. are probably more scared. And and again, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not right. holding it against them. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, I've seen guys sitting in briefs to go out on operations that you can tell are 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 petrified. Yeah, usually it's a guy that's not used to it. Maybe maybe someone that's visiting an, an area of operations and shows up and it's oh we're gonna take you out on, a, on an operation mm-hmm. and you get to see them they're they're scared because yeah. they're not used to it all the guys from my task unit you know they might be scared but they're confident they know what they're doing right they're they've they've put that fear aside over and over again so it's not that big of a deal but you see a guy dealing with that fear for the first time yeah. and it especially stands out because you got a bunch of confident guys that that know that understand that understand the risks mm-hmm. so you can see their faces and then you see like that guy that's yeah. come in from another area and is going to go out on operation and and they're they're tapping their toes during the brief and they're looking around and and they got to overcome that fear. And if they stay there for a few weeks, they'll, they'll get used to it too. Yeah. So it could kind of be looked at as, um, just, just the act itself, whatever act, if it's understood as being. Yeah. Sam Harris's point was that it, it doesn't matter if there's a machine gun nest and you're horrified to go charge it and I'm not, and we both go charge it. And you just had to pretend that you weren't scared. It doesn't matter. You were still being brave. Right, right. And and I didn't have to pretend, but I'm being brave. So it doesn't matter whether yeah. you're pretending or not. You're brave if you go. Right. And or maybe to, to overcome or do something that's understood generally as being scary. Just because yeah. it's not scared yeah. to yeah. scary to you, you're still being just right. as brave. You are. But yeah, I think yeah, and I guess in a real black and white terms, it's like if you're not scared of this activity you're doing and you do it and you're not yeah. scared of it then you're not being brave and that's just in generally speaking yeah. like you know what's a good example skydivers yeah skydivers with 5000 jumps they're not right. they're not scared anymore yeah. i mean i know even when i've done like you know 50 jumps you're not really scared anymore right you're just doing it and guys yeah. that have thousands jump they're not scared at all that's what they do right so they're not being brave they're just doing their job they're just doing their thing yeah so what if some guys jumping out for the first time and he's scared and he overcomes that fear and yeah. jumps out he is being brave yeah 
right? So, yeah. The, yeah, that's kind of the point. Yeah, so if I go outside and check the mail, I'm not being brave. No, you're not being brave. But what if there's like a tiger or something out there? Then and I really brave. need that mail. <laughs> uh, that's pretty brave, right? Tigers, going after tigers, yeah, you're yeah, brave. Yeah, yeah, you're right. 